There's been multiple reports of first responders met with no water when trying to extinguish the fires on Maui. Now, the state of Hawaii and real estate company Alexander and Baldwin have filed to overturn a recent environmental court ruling on East Maui stream diversions. KIT4's Aaron Coogan joins us live from the Hawaii Supreme Court, where oral arguments are now in deliberation. Aaron, good morning. Yeah, good morning, Julia. Well, on the morning of August 9th, so less than 24 hours since fires ravaged through Lahaina Town, state attorneys alongside Alexander and Baldwin filed a petition to the Hawaii Supreme Court claiming there was, quote, not enough permitted water to battle the wildfires on Maui. Now, this would come just weeks after environmental court judge Jeffrey Crabtree limited the commercial real estate company's stream diversions to 31.5 million gallons of water per day, reduced from its then existing 40 million gallon allotment. Local Local environmental groups who lobbied for the company's initial water reduction say these new claims of the stream diversions decision having impacted crews ability to fight the fires remain unfounded. Presented by the Sierra Club in yesterday's oral arguments, one, the fact that water from East Maui stored in central Maui would never be used to fight fires in West Maui. And two, the county only used 37,000 gallons of water over the course of five days to fight fires in central Maui, which is far below the 30 million gallons allotted to a and on a daily basis. Members of the Sierra Club say this is yet another example of a large corporation acting on opportunity, or in this case, devastation, to seek personal gain. It's, it's shameless. You know, it's despicable to lie about needing water for firefighting uh, uh, to exert even more control, to hoard this public trust resource, uh, and in doing so, exploit you know, the unimaginable pain and suffering and destruction you know, we've witnessed. Meanwhile, A and B and the state's main legal argument centered around the authority of the environmental court judge to maintain jurisdiction over annual permits the BLNR had issued to A and B before June's decision. The Supreme Court is now taking matters into advisement. Again, they're going to have that final say as to whether to reinstate uh, the water usage from before June's decision or to keep it as it stands right now. For now, reporting live from the Hawaii Supreme Court, Aaron Kukin, Kia TV4, Island News.